Hi everybody, welcome back to RimWorld. Welcome back to Poopsville. Man, it has been just a drama-filled winter so far. All the crops are dead, as we expected. Um, Rob and Cat both got uh, viciously attacked by a fox. Um, it looks like the temperature is starting to warm up a little bit inside um, our base, uh, but it could still do with some work. Uh, we could probably um, uninstall this heater. I think we will uninstall. We don't need two heaters in here. We're going to uninstall this heater. And I think we're going to move it into here to try to keep these bedrooms like a bit warmer. Also, Cat's going to need to have a bedroom as well. I'm not sure like how we're going to do this because we're kind of running out of space. I mean, we could just uninstall the horseshoe game and build her like a room here. Maybe like, um, you know, just sort of move some of this stuff. Like we can deconstruct these sandbags, for instance probably be okay um do we want to have like a thick outer shell to the base like maybe some stone walls or something start using up some of this stuff like we can make cat like a room made entirely of marble uh that might be nice actually <laughs> i don't know if that's like good to do or not like we can use <laughs> some marble blocks great okay marble blocks it is so we want one two three and then we so we want it to come out to like here and we want like to come out to here and then when these sandbags are down we'll like fix it and then this door can be made out of marble as well because why the hell not and then floors ah fuck it let's have some marble floors in here for cat too it's gonna be like hard to warm up but it doesn't really matter okay structure then we can deconstruct this and this and then um that'll like extend the hallway so there's lots of work for people to get on with today Cat's room will be ready for her when she's all healed up. After, um, geez, look at how long it takes to make a marble uh, door. <laughs> Svetlana is just spending like the next uh, ten years of her life building this thing. And uh, and the geothermal generator is underway, but I think we're missing some stuff. Or are we? We're we eight components. Oh my god, that's a lot of components. Where the hell are we gonna get these components from? Like we're really low on components. Can we get them like out of the I don't know if we can get... I don't know if it's something that we can just mine up. Like, are there pieces of spaceship anywhere that we haven't deconstructed yet? Because I think you get components from that. Um, traders, we could trade some components from traders if anybody would be up for, like, coming by. Nobody seems to want to come by. Holy shit, I think the toxic cloud has ended! Oh, happy days! Oh, that's great! Oh, that's so good. Jeez, that was brutal. Man, everybody... Oh, no, hang on. I'm lying. Everything... We have everything. We're, we're up and running. Two geothermal generators. Unbelievable. Holy crap. Okay. Crisis averted. I thought we didn't have enough components, but turns out some of these are probably doubled up. There's like three, eight... Ah, we have 50, 14. Fuck, okay. We have quite a few components, it turns out. I'm surprised. I didn't realize we had that many. Okay, perfect. How hot? It's like 21 degrees in here, 19 degrees in here. The uh, medical ward is nice and warm. Cat's bedroom is like almost done. This wooden horseshoes pin can be reinstalled. We're going to have to make like a safe place uh, for these people to to play horseshoes. Uh, like, I guess out here for now is okay, but we'll have to move this eventually. Okay, furniture then. We want to have a nice wooden bed uh, for Cat to sleep in. Uh, we're also going to give her her very own plant pot and uh, standing lamp as well. This is what everybody gets. And uh, we're also going to go structure, go marble wall. There's a mad raccoon on the loose as well. Unbelievable. And then floors here, we're just going to have some wooden floors, I think. Just for the rest of this. Okay, where is this mad raccoon for Christ's sake? Here he is. Okay, he's coming. These... I don't know what it is with these animals. That fox really was a, a bastard. Holy crap. Like, we have to... All right, come on, everybody. Svetlana, what are you doing now? Kill the raccoon for Christ's sake. Go go melee attack. You know what? Fire at it. Fire at the raccoon. There's two raccoons. All right, battle stations, everybody. We're going to need some help here. Melee attack this raccoon. Okay, April, you get out here with your machine gun. Frito, we're going to need you as well. You've got a gun, right? Kepler, um, get ready for medical attention. And Theo, get in there too. 
Who else are we missing? Okay, everybody. Svetlana is... She's taking some hits here. We're gonna need some help. It's like a whole family of raccoons is attacking us now. All right, Jalil. Good job. All the raccoons are dead. Oh my god. Svetlana now is injured. I think Rob is all healed up. Thank God we're growing all these crops in here, because, Jesus, this that was brutal. Okay, let's get another heater. Um, you know what? She's old, right? Cat's old. We're going to set up the heater inside Cat's room, okay? Um, and we're also going to go in here, temperature, and we're going to have a vent. Connects up like that, okay. And hopefully two heaters pumping in. To these bedrooms everybody is going to be sleeping in a room temperature that'd be nice uh oh jalil shelter kid is on a fire starting spree oh for no frito can you apprehend him is there is there don't you dare jalil oh no come on jalil really you're gonna do me like this you had a mental... What's what's actually wrong with him? He's just feeling bad. It's, he's had a serious mental break. I guess he... I guess it was... Can we can we imprison him or anything? Is there any way that we could do this? No? He had a nice chat with April. Uh, and then that's what... That's what caused him to just go fucking nuts. Now he's on a fire starting spree. Look at this. Luckily, he's just starting fires out in the wilderness. With any luck, it'll start to rain. Like, this is outside of the, um, the habitation zone. Look, okay. Now, there's a couple getting close to the crops. Whoa, look, at there's a... Like a cheeky tree is just grown in the middle of one of our fields. Jalil, are you feeling better? Yeah, okay, he's just going to bed after starting numerous fires outside in the wilderness. Oh, look, cat. Cat is like a geriatric. She's had to come out here and, uh, for Christ's sake, this guy is unbelievable. Like, I think we should, I think we should banish him. Can we do that? We're gonna have to expand this home area down here now, because we don't want this stuff fucking catching on fire. Oh, look, everybody's asleep. Kepler, I'm sorry. We're gonna have to wake you up. We're gonna have to wake you up and... Oh no, it's okay. Cat's gonna stay up all night, apparently, and put this stuff up. Svetlana's a night owl. She heard that Cat was out here working. She got jealous. Even though she's injured, she's coming out here as well to help put out the fires. Oh, for fuck's sake. Look, I'm not expanding the home zone anymore, okay? Like, these, this is just gonna have to run its course now. Oh, look, it, it, they're just gonna go out. Look, it, it's not going anywhere, okay? This is fine. Jesus Christ, man. Who would have thought managing a colony would be so much hard work? Like, it's really hard work. Holy shit. It's crazy. Okay, who can we who can we phone now? Rob? Call the call the traveling Concord of Uistan, okay? We're gonna need some supplies. Um do we need to Outlander Union? Colony Goodwill is 38. Their social skill is zero. Joshua Marjot greets Rob warily and asks his business. We can offer a gift. We need 300 silver near trade beacons. We can request a trade caravan, but that's going to cost us 600 silver. And we don't have any... Okay, fine. Poopsville out. We don't have any trade beacons, apparently. I didn't know that we needed those. Hang on a second. Let's see if I can find where the trade beacons are. What the hell is a... What the... F where the fuck is a trade beacon? Anyone? Geothermal generator. MISC. Orbital trade beacon. Required for orbital trading. You can only sell goods that are near an orbital trade beacon. Can be placed indoors. Alright, okay. We want to have a party spot? Uh, look at this party spot. It does a spot where parties will be centered. Parties use an area around the spot. Okay. This is definitely where the party spot is. A marriage spot. We're going to have to get the... You know, Kepler and April might want to get married at some point. So... Oh, look at this. Frito's butchering those raccoons. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. It is currently 20-ish degrees inside, um, what's-her-face's room. Cat's room. And it looks like it's getting warmer, uh, throughout the bedrooms as well. So that should work. And then hopefully it'll be nice and warm in here for the weed as well. Man, this fucking weed takes forever to grow in here. It's only 5% grown. Like, what's going on? Needs light level. 
Does that mean that we need these sun lamps? Oh, crap. Really? It can't make windows or anything. I guess it needs a, a sun lamp? Oh, medicine production. Produce medicine from herbal medicine, neutroamine, and cloth. We did it. Oh, fuck. I can't believe it. That's so good. Okay, great. Now what do we want? Passive cooler? No, we don't want that. That's just like a box with water in it. Um, I guess we could make this like... Um, we can start producing this stuff so that we don't have um, diseases. Or do we just want people to get diseases? Hard to tell at this point, actually. I mean, if you asked me a couple of days ago, I'd say I don't want anyone getting a disease. If you asked me today, I would say I want Jalil to get a disease after what he did. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. What's a transport pod do? Construct launchable transport pods that you can use to launch people and supplies long distances across the planet's surface. That's kind of cool. Allows colonists to con construct hospital beds, which increase chance of successful medical work. That could be useful as well. What's a moisture pump do? Allows the construction of moisture pumps, which turn wet ground dry. What? Oh, we can dry out wet ground. That's crazy. Okay. I mean, we get a gun turret as well. Automated gun turret. I mean, maybe we should start thinking about getting some of this stuff. What do colored lights do? Lights for decorative purposes. You know what? We're going for brewing. Allows you to build a brewery to transform hops into tasty, tasty beer. This is, I think this is going to be incredible, okay? Because we did say we wanted to have beer and weed for the winter. It's currently the seventh of winter. It's going pretty well. Um, we have six idle colonists, but it's nice and warm in here at least. And uh, people aren't starving yet. We've got enough food, it appears. It's eight degrees outside right now. That's not too bad. Look, it's actually warm enough for people to replant the crops out here. This is great. Okay, smoke leaf though. Oh, this is heel root. Okay, smoke leaf and heel root. We don't need out here anymore. So let's get some hops. Okay, perfect. Smoke leaf would probably be okay, actually. Jalil has gotten food poisoning from a sin Oh, no. Is that right, Jalil? Oh, well, gosh. Isn't that terrible? Holy crap. I mean, of all the people in the colony that could possibly get food poisoning, look. Let's do, let's do an operation on him. Let's, let's teach him a lesson. Okay, let's euthanize him. <laughs> we can euthanize him. Okay, you know what? Let's harvest his... Let's harvest one of his kidneys. Okay, perfect. All right, Jalil. You're having a kidney harvested. Okay, that's what you get for going on a fire starting spree. We're going to harvest his kidney. Where would we store a kidney? Like, what? What's the point of harvesting a body part? Just to keep? Like, can we sell it later? We'd have to store it in here. We'd have to freeze it, right? Um, okay, chunks. No, corpses. Human, no, it's not there. Um, is it a raw resource? Maybe? Stone blocks, plant matter. I, I honestly don't know. Art, furniture, body parts. Okay, yeah, store body parts in here too. Fucking sweet. Uh, a group of Labrador Retrievers, abandoned or lost, have wandered into the area. They seem accustomed to human contact and are joining the colony. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> well, fucking randomly three dogs have just... <laughs> oh, wow, okay, nice. There's That's that's a lot... Okay, fine, you know what? We're going to have to get some animal beds. Uh, we don't have any cloth, though, sadly. Uh, so we're going to have to make them out of like other stuff, possibly. Uh, no, it has to be... Okay, we're going to have to have them... Okay, you know what? Animal... The animals can sleep inside, like, uh, some sort of... In the weed room, okay? Okay, that's where the dogs can sleep. They're not even getting a bed or anything. We made a box for the tortoise because we felt bad for him. But for Christ's sake, I mean, geez. What do these people want? Oh my god, this can... This can do it! Look at this! It can do it, like, almost the whole thing! Oh, man! Okay, one sun lamp is all we need in this room to get this stuff growing even faster. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh my god. Jeez. Cat, what are you doing? 
She tried to get his kidney out and failed. Oh, I feel kind of bad for Jalil right now. Even though he's tried to burn down the whole colony, I don't know how I feel about harvesting his innards. <laughs> oh my god. Jeez. All right. Well, hey, look. Is the is the bill still <laughs> is the bill still going? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's he's recovering. Right. Well, <laughs> let that be a lesson, Jalil. Next time you decide that you want to light the whole colony on fire, maybe think twice, bitch. Or else we'll get Cat with her really bad surgical skills to come in and do a number on you. Oh my god. Okay. Our growth rate is 230% now, thanks to this sun lamp inside the hydroponic den. This is fucking good. Look at this. The soil... Okay. It's brightly lit, which is... Look at this stuff grow now! Okay, it's growing really fast. This is really good. 11%. Okay, we're going to be able to harvest the shit out of this stuff pretty soon. It's going to be really nice. Oh, look, and all of the doggies were asleep inside the weed storage room as well. We are running out of food. I mean, the dogs are now eating simple meals as well. Like, this is not good. This is really not good. We have more than enough power. I guess, um, well, it looks like stuff is growing, but it is still the 8th of winter. It's 4 degrees. These crops are just going to die before they get anywhere. So I think... What we're going to have to do, we now have a self-tamed mega sloth as well. Oh, jeez. I hope he's not going to come in and try to sleep in here because that would be terrible. You're not allowed inside, okay? You're too big. Stay outside for Christ's sake. Oh, the dogs. Dogs, stop eating. I like these dogs, but for Christ's sake, can we just go take them for a walk and accidentally lose them or something? Because they're eating up all the food. Frito can't keep up anymore. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. You know what? We're going to have to have an indoor grow zone then. We're going to have to do it. It's just it's just the way that it's got to be. We're going to use up some more of this marble. Let's get a big old marble wall. How big is this room then? It could have done with being like a little bit smaller. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what's nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's right. Nine. Perfect. Okay, let's do this then. Um, let's get a... You know what? I think a wooden door is fine in this case. We're going to get a wooden door here. We're going to need to get another heater now. For freak's sakes, okay? Wooden floors in here is fine too. This is going to be another grow zone. So we're going to go for the marble walls, which should hopefully withstand fire attacks. I think if the whole like outside of the base is done with marble walls, that would be good, right? Because the marble won't burn down. The wooden walls will get burnt down, like, really quick. Okay, we'll go for that then. And then we'll see. We'll get some wooden floors down, and we're going to need to build a whole bunch of these hydroponics and another sun lamp as well. And hopefully... And the heater. We're going to need another heater, too. Although I'm wondering now if uh, we can heat both of these rooms uh, with just a vent. We might be able to save ourselves a little bit of um, mucking around. Okay, let's try this anyway. We'll see. And then hopefully... Okay, the Mega Sloth is inside the fucking base now. Uh, can, can we forbid him? A uh, heater broke down too. No. Oh, for Christ's sake. Somebody please fix that heater. It's cold outside. It's minus two. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, man, I, th I thought that we were, like, doing okay. But now, all of a sudden, this food situation is getting increasingly bad. We're going to have to keep on top of everything here. And the Mega Sloth coming into the base was not ideal either. And now there's just this forbidden toque laying on the ground too that we can never get rid of for Christ's sake. Do we want to make it so that... Okay, that's not beer, that's go juice. Okay. We don't want anyone getting addicted to go juice, okay? It's bad enough that Jalil has like um, like arson tendencies when he's like feeling a little bit under pressure or whatever. Imagine if he was like addicted to go juice and um, just had this like crippling addiction to the go juice. That would be terrible. We're going to need an armory for some of these weapons and stuff as well. We got a lot of weapons in here for some reason uh, from, from the bodies of, of dead men and women who have tried to attack us and do us wrong in the past. I wonder if, if we get raided, if um, they're just going to, like, focus our power or something. That would be terrible because these geothermal generators are great. But, man, they're going to be a real pain in the ass to fix um, someday if they break down or if they get blown up or something. Jesus Christ. that It costs a lot. It costs a heck of a lot. 
All right, good job, Jalil. Even though we tried to uh, harvest your kidney. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. I can't believe you can harvest body... Wait! But wait! Oh, we can harvest body parts from these dead people, right? Like the raiders? Oh, shit. Okay. All right, we're going to store body parts. We're going to have to have a cooler for body parts uh, that we can store the body parts and then maybe sell the body parts? Eat the body parts? I mean, hang on to them? Somebody... Okay, it's an eclipse. That's fine. You know, somebody... Somebody might need a transplant one day. These people are, are aging, you know, and they're working hard. You know, somebody might get, like, a hernia or something and need a transplant. Like, we... We definitely need to harvest human beings. Like, I can't believe... Oh, we finished researching brewing already? Man, that went quick. Holy crap. Okay, now we can brew. This is nice. This is really good. Fire foam. What does this do? Allows the construction of fire foam poppers, fire safety buildings, which spread fire retardant foam in response to encro encroaching flames. Okay, that could be useful. What's a multi-analyzer do? Allows colonists to build multi-analyzers, which increase research speed and allow higher level research projects if placed near a research bench. Okay, let's do that. That sounds good. That sounds like something we definitely need. All right. We'll be back for more next time. Um, Poopsville continues to thrive somehow. Against all odds, it's working out. It's nice. Jeez, I like I like where we're going with this. I like how it's going. Uh, we just need to grow some more food before we run out. That's the next big um, project that we're working on. Uh, but we're, we're getting there. As usual, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.